no matter what your goal is shooting a black water video, you're gonna have to turn the ISO up. Normally we like to shoot with that low ISO to reduce noise and stills and also in video, but in this case, it's just gonna be so dark, you're gonna have to turn that up. How far, it really depends on the camera. New cameras have pretty good noise reduction, so you can turn it up, you know, 3200. But if you're gonna test this out, really try starting at 1600 and then go up and down from there. Find where your comfort level is and then go with that. Now you're gonna to need to set your frames per second. Ideally, you wanna set this at least at 60. The reason for this is we're gonna to wanna to slow down the footage. Things underwater move really, really fast, like this little guy. And while the creature is cool, the footage isn't really that great. It's just too hard to follow because it's way too fast. Now here this is slowed down 50%. Way better to watch, but it's really jerky. Why is that? It's because the footage was shot at 24 frames a second. That's why you wanna shoot at 60. So if you do a 50% reduction, you can get a really smooth look and bring it down to a standard 30 or even 25 frames and the viewer can't tell the difference. Basically, you're using 60 frames a second as a real easy way to do some nice slow motion work. If you can get up to 120 or higher, then you can do some really great stuff. But if you go that high, you're gonna need a ton of light.